On the slopes below Table Mountain, the ugly scars of apartheid still to heal. Four decades ago, the homes of some 70,000 people who lived here in District 6 were bulldozed. The area declared whites only, and then left undeveloped in the face of international uproar and local opposition. But it's Cape Town, that is the place for me. But now parts of it are coming back to life. Some original residents have come back as part of a nationwide effort to return land to the rightful owners. Look, I've got seven children, 26 grandchildren, 48 great-grandchildren and three great-great-grandchildren. But they're very happy for me being here. Her granddaughter, Nikita, lives with her. She's very excited and she loves it here because she's waited like, I think, 25 years or more to come back to ours. So. She's very happy to be here. She loves the people here. And yet in all, only 24 families have been able to return. The construction of the new houses has been suspended because of infighting between the provincial government and the local council. This is a political as much as administrative matter. The ruling African National Congress controls the province, but it's the opposition Democratic Alliance that controls the city of Cape Town. The irony that a people evicted by apartheid politics are prevented from returning by the politics of a democratic South Africa. The vast majority of original residents tired of waiting accepted a cash recompensation from the government. There are still 4,000 people on the list to return and Nikita Bum feels very much alone. I just wish there was more people so that I could talk to because there's not a lot of people of my age here so it is a bit difficult because I have no friends here so. And yet still happy for her grandmother. I do appreciate coming back here because the hard times that she went through it makes me appreciate that we actually the South Africa is different and that there's no black and white and that everyone can live anywhere so I appreciate like coming back here on behalf of her. I thank the Lord every day. When I sit here, I play my guitar and I sing and I say thank you, Lord, for sparing me this 85 years. If, if you think that's what I do. And though District 6 is far from being what it was, though the politics of the day impede the process of regeneration, Annie Baum at least will realize her dream of dying with the mountain at her back and the sea at her feet. The sea case a certain little lady comes by. Mike Hannah, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.